Right, okay then, so this um, video is about connecting 18650 cells uh, in series. Now, I got a question from um, Tucker, not Sucker, off of um, YouTube, and he asks, um, how do you wire these batteries in series without sparks flying, batteries smoking, and wires melting? Uh, Obviously he's tried it and uh, that's what's happened, so uh, I'm going to try to help him out anyway. Um, these 18650 yarn batteries, you do need to be pretty careful with them. This one here is at the end of its life, it's only got 738 milliamp hours, so I'm going to sacrifice it. Uh, so I've cut the plastic off the top here anyway, and uh, the terminals on these are very close together. Uh, the rim of this is the negative, and then you've got the positive probably about 5 millimeters away in the center here. So it's very easy. If you connect a wire on here, you've got a small nick in the plastic, which would have been on here, which I've taken off. Small nick, and you'll short that out straight away. But just to sh prove it, that the rim, got the positive in the center, and then very edge of it is a negative and there you are you can see on the multimeter we've got 4.7 volts so yeah the whole outside is negative and it's just this small part in here which is a positive terminal um, decent quality cells generally won't blow up but uh, it's best not to short them out anyway just in case I, I don't I've never shorted well I say I've never shorted them out I have accidentally shorted them out uh, but we won't go into that. Um, anyway, so we're going to connect them in these batteries here in series. And I'm uh, just going to use these uh, crocodile clips here. And we, obviously there's a positive and a negative terminal. The way we find that out is with the multimeter. As long as you've got your cables connected up the right way. The red to positive, the black to negative. If we connect up the wrong way and put the uh, negative to positive and the positive on the negative, we get a small icon come up, a negative icon, which shows us that we've got the uh, cables around the wrong way. So if we switch it back round, then that icon will disappear, as you can see. And that means then we know which side is positive, which side is negative. Okay, so we've established which is positive, which is negative. Now we're going to connect them up. So I'm going to go positive to negative, and then the same again here positive to negative. Now, obviously, we're doing this to increase the voltage output rather than to um, increase the amount of um, power storage we have. So now if I put this on the negative terminal of the first one, we have four volts here. And then we go to the next battery, we've increased the voltage. And we've got 7.2. These batteries aren't charged, so I'm not going to get 12 volts, I don't think. No, it was 10 volts, but if these were fully charged, it would be around 12.6 volts. Right then, so obviously we've got this uh, wired up now in series. Obviously, don't connect these two terminals together, because if not, you'll create a short, and then you will melt your wires, and you'll have some sparks, and possibly some smoke, and possibly an explosion. But... Uh, as long as you don't connect these two together, you should be okay. Now, uh, I've got this little LED lighting strip here. It's 12 volts, so <coughs> I've got the um, positive connection here. Let's connect that up. Okay. And here's a negative connection here. And there you go. No sparks, uh, no smoke, and no melted wires, so I must be doing something right. But, uh, yeah, it does sound complicated um, on paper, but once you get your head around it, uh, it's pretty simple, really. 
and anyway I hope this helps and uh, yeah thanks for the question anyway and uh, see you next time thanks for watching bye